And we have breaking news out of Tennessee. We have a verdict in uh, the, for defendant Robin Howington. I see the judge on the bench. Let's get you in the courtroom. I'm going to ask that nobody be on the front row right next to the jury, please. Jury making their way into the courtroom there in Knoxville, Tennessee. She's facing life behind bars. F found convicted. She's been out on $250,000 bond with restrictions, including uh, an ankle monitor. Um, remember, uh, Ms. Howington took the stand in her own defense, trying to explain away all of the different stories that she told police and investigators after the shooting of her five-year-old daughter, Destiny, including that an unknown intruder, that it was uh, her daughter's father that shot her, and then she changed it to her son. Um, and these are all things that the, the jury has been considering in all of this. Let's bring in our guest for this hour that's watching along with us there. Uh, trial attorney Michelle Thomas in Silver Spring, Maryland. And um, Ms. Thomas, I may have to cut you off as soon as the jury gets in the room there. Everyone's uh, standing. But uh, what are your thoughts on this case overall? I think we're going to see a guilty verdict. There were just so many inconsistent stories that she told, and it's hard to reconcile that, I think, to a, in a juror's mind, how she could have blamed um, the, the father, a two-year-old. None of it made right, any sense, and I think it suggests she's lying. All right, here's the jury coming in. Let's listen. Everyone may have a seat. Wave the call for the state or the defense. If you could pass the verdict form up here, please, um, Mr. Morgan. Of this jury, is that correct? Yes. I understand the jury has reached a unanimous verdict as to each of the counts contained within this indictment. Is that correct? Yes. Sir. If you would stand, please, sir. Ms. Allington, if you would stand in favor as to the first count of this indictment charging uh, felony, uh, first degree felony murder, has the jury reached a unanimous verdict? Yes, we have. And that verdict is what, please? Uh, the jury, uh, we the jury find the defendant, Robin Rebecca Allington, guilty of reckless homicide. As to the second count, alleging aggravated child neglect, has the jury reached a unanimous verdict? Yes, sir. And that verdict is what, please? We, the jury, find the defendant, Robin Rebecca Howington, guilty of aggravated child neglect. As to the third count, alleging aggravated child neglect, has the jury reached a unanimous verdict? Yes, sir. And that verdict is what, please? We, the jury, find the defendant, Robin, Robin Rebecca Howington, guilty of aggravated child neglect. As to the fourth count, alleging initiating or filing a false uh, report to law enforcement, has the jury reached a unanimous verdict? Yes, sir. And that verdict is what, please? We, the jury, find the defendant, Robin Rebecca Howington, guilty of initiating a false report to a law enforcement officer. As to the fifth count, alleging tampering with evidence, has the jury reached a unanimous verdict? Yes, sir. And that verdict is what, please? We, the jury, find the defendant, Robin Rebecca Howington, guilty of tampering with evidence. And as to the sixth count, alleging attempted tampering with evidence, has the jury reached a unanimous verdict? Yes, sir. And that verdict is what, please? We, the jury, find the defendant, Robin Rebecca Howington, guilty of attempted tampering with evidence. If that is your verdict, if you would signify by raising your right hand, please. Let the record reflect all 12 hands are raised as either side wish for the court to poll this jury. They are. Yeah. All right, Ms. Allington, you may have a seat. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your hard work. 
Uh, you have concluded week one of your jury service. I wish I could tell you that you're done, but you're not. You've still got uh, one more week of service. I know that we've got another case to start in here on Monday, so I'm sure I'm going to see a lot of you back uh, on Monday morning when we're picking another jury. Have a very good weekend. Thank you very much for your service, and I'll see you on Monday. I'll rise for the jury. All right, the jury is exiting there in Knoxville, Tennessee. Uh, Michelle Thomas, you're still with us. Uh, it appears guilty on all counts. What's your reaction? No surprise here. Uh, there, her story just didn't add up. Um, saying that she was trying to protect her two-year-old, that doesn't make any sense. So uh, she certainly is, she certainly was, um, this was an expected all right. outcome. All right, let's listen in. Aggravated uh, child neglect, count four, uh, filing a false police report count five tampering with evidence and count six attempted tampering with evidence uh, the court revokes your bond you're ordered into custody when do we need to set this for sentencing what's 45 days April 22nd April 22nd what day of the week is that uh, that preceding Friday would be what the 19th does Friday April the 19th work for everyone for sentencing yes they good general Ms. Howington, I will see you on April the 19th. The court will conduct a sentencing hearing at that time. In the interim, a pre-sentence investigation will, report will be prepared. Uh, probation will be interviewing you if you wish to have your attorney present with you. When that interview is conducted, you have a right to do so. I'll see you on April the 19th. Thank you. All right, Michelle Thomas, she's being taken back into custody. She's been out on that $250,000 uh, cash bond for the past few years. Um, really, no surprise to a lot of people that have been watching along with us. Uh, can you tell us what you think is going to be next? What kind of sentence? Uh, I know that the state is asking for life behind bars, but what kind of sentence are, are you going to be watching for? I think she's looking at life. I mean, this was a, an unfortunate loss of life, a tragic situation. Uh, she didn't take any sort of, um, it, she didn't own up to any of it. She sort of uh, pointed the finger, deflected throughout. She tried to destroy evidence. She was found guilty of that, I mean, of, of tampering. So there were many charges here for which she's been found guilty, the worst of which is obviously the loss of, of her child's life. I believe we're looking at life for her. Um, possibly without parole. Yeah, and she was actually convicted of reckless homicide. So it looks like that's going to be two to four years, plus all of the lessers uh, when you add all of those up. Um, we're just getting these notes in here. Um, I guess one of the main problems was her testimony, right? Because she had to try to explain away all of the different stories. Let's actually play a little bit of her on direct and also cross and get your reaction. I was walking up to my house, and it's a glass door, and I seen a flash of light go off. <laughs> and when I walked in, Gavin was screaming and crying, and the gun was on the ground. <laughs> and did you see where Destiny was at that time? Yes, she was on the couch. And was she moving at all? No. Did you try to speak with her at all? Multiple times. I'm sorry? Multiple times. And did she ever respond to you at that point? No, sir. What was going through your mind at that moment? I couldn't believe what was going on. What did what did you do? I got the gun and I took it outside. Why did you take it outside? 
Because I didn't want it to cause any more harm. After you put the gun outside and came back in, what did you do? I got a towel and put it on that snake. I'll continue to say the same thing, ma'am. I was trying to protect my son, and you just can't accept that this was an accident. You just can't accept it. Ma'am, you had asked multiple people to come and pick up that gun that you put outside your home, had you not? To protect. A yes or a no. Had you told, asked multiple people to get that gun from outside your house, yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now she may explain her answer, Judge. I think she has, but if you want to, again, explain your reasoning for doing so. I was trying to protect my son, and nobody wants to accept that. What would you do? Can I? <laughs> A lot of the viewers at home pointing out this, you know, appearing to wipe away tears there on the stand when being asked the tough questions, but no tears, no emotion with a reading of the verdict. Michelle? That's often what you refer to as crocodile tears, and it's a little, it was too little too late for this jury. Um, you know, certainly she's upset that she got caught, but we didn't get a, a real sense of, of empathy and regret and, and real remorse from her. Um, it's easy to cry after the fact, but where was she during the incident, during the time? Um, so uh, even if it was her, her child who pulled the trigger, she is ultimately responsible for, for being grossly negligent during that um, tragic loss of her other child's life. Right, and Michelle, it was kind of a slam dunk for prosecutors with some of the lesser charges here, the false police report, because she told so many different stories and then also tampering with evidence because she wipes the gun and then throws it under a bush in her backyard. Yeah, and so when you have that, and she also tried to destroy her, her cell phone records as well, text messages, so uh, none of those those facts bode well for her. I mean, I think the jury had really no choice but to find her guilty on these lesser included charges based upon her own conduct after the fact, which reeks of sort of that consciousness of guilt that we've talked about before. And you're a family attorney. I mean, the real tragedy in all of this is really family torn apart. You know, she loses the life of her daughter at her hands, according to this jury. And then um, also she had a, a little two-year-old boy that was involved in all of this. I mean, it's just tragic all the way around. There's no winners. Absolutely, because now you have another child who's essentially going to be motherless for a period of time while... Uh, this defendant is locked up, incarcerated, so it, it's really tragic. Um, they will all have to cope with the loss, the, the experience. That child who was also present may have, have horrifying memories down the road. So it's just, it's a really sad situation. And to your point, Matt, no one wins. All right, Michelle Thomas, thank you so much for your insight on this. You're not going to go anywhere. We have much to talk about on this busy Friday here at Court TV. Um, her sentencing, as we know, is going to be in about 45 days.